Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins at a party going on in California. We hear Ivan speak, talking about how money can be obtained from the rich, who are entitled and careless. He relates to a quote by Willie Sutton, who was once asked why he robs banks, and he said, because that is where the money is. We see that Ivan has disabled some security systems, and seamlessly mingles into the party. He grabs a drink and then begins to survey the house, noticing the security cameras. He runs into a woman, who is being made to take part in a magic trick being performed by another guest. Ivan introduces himself as Russell, and the woman tells him her name is Marguerite. She later asks him if his name is really Russell, and he admits that it's not. She asks him why he's here, and he replies that he is an art consultant. When she asks him what that means, Ivan smirks. Meanwhile, the hosts ask their guests to walk out by the pool. Ivan excuses himself to stay behind by saying that he needs more wine, and asks if Marguerite wants some too. Once everyone leaves, Ivan observes a particular art sculpture, and then inflates a balloon which is an exact replica. As he replaces the sculpture and puts it in a trash bag, he is found by the host's daughter, whom he charms. He then escorts her to where the other guests are, and also asks her if she can take a wine glass to Marguerite. Ivan returns home and places some cash in a locker. He then receives a call from the rehab center his brother is in, and goes to meet him. They tell him that they cannot keep up with Raymond's antics and will have to let him go. The brothers head over to a diner and share some food, when Raymond proposes they have a moment of silence for their recently dead father. Ivan then takes Raymond home, who is impressed by Ivan's place. Ivan tells him that this is temporary, and they will find something for him. Raymond hugs Ivan and thanks him. In the next scene, Ivan takes the structure to his boss Dimitri. He tells Dimitri that he wants to quit after two more robberies, but Dimitri says he will look into it. He gives Ivan the address for the next robbery, and then Ivan leaves. We then jump to Marguerite, whose real name is Elise. She gets ready for a party, the same party which is Ivan's next target. They cross paths in the bathrooms, and Elise asks him for a favor. She wants him to pretend to be her boyfriend, to fend off Hollywood producers who hit on her. He agrees. At the party, a producer named Giovanni approaches them, and asks them how they know Paul, the host. They reply that they met him at a party in New York. After he leaves, Ivan and Elise head to the pool room and bet on a game. She notices Ivan looking at a painting, and asks him if it is famous. He says yes, and tells her about the artist, but says he doesn't know it's worth when she asks. He then asks her why she's making Italian horror movies, and she replies that she's not welcome in Hollywood anymore, after a producer took her home and she refused to sleep with him. He blacklisted her. Elise wins the game by cheating, but Ivan doesn't notice. Giovanni returns and takes Elise to meet someone, and Ivan uses this time to work on stealing the painting. He hides it in the lining of his suit jacket, and also removes himself from the security footage. The next day he goes to Dimitri to drop off the painting, and Dimitri tells him about his next job. He is to obtain a self-portrait of Adolf Hitler, which is owned by a man named Wolf. There is no security in the house, apart from Wolf himself, who lives there alone with his dogs. The man is actually pretty dangerous as he is ex-military, and once shot 11 men dead, naked, and in the dead of the night. He then tells Ivan that once he does this job for him, there's one more tiny job, and then they'll be done for good. And his cut will be 500,000. Ivan is happy to hear this, and gets up to use the bathroom before leaving. There, he finds it bloody, reminding him of how Dimitri is a crime lord and very dangerous. When he walks out, Dimitri shows Ivan the first painting his father ever stole for him, and says that he's truly sorry about his dad. In the meantime, the couple from whom Ivan stole the art sculpture, finally discover that it has been stolen, and file a report. A detective asks Brooks if there was an unknown person at the party that night, and he says no. This is when his daughter speaks up, about the guy who took the rug for cleaning, and the detective asks Brooks to hand him the guest list. Sometime later, he acquires a sketch of Ivan, and pins it to his board. The scene then shifts to Ivan, who prepares to rob Wolf. He first takes care of his dogs, by feeding them meat which sedates them. Wolf puts out food for his dogs, and settles down to eat himself, but the lack of barking alerts him. He gets up to see that the food is untouched, and goes into the basement to retrieve his gun. Meanwhile, Ivan trashes the living room upstairs, and Wolf goes in search of the intruder in his house. Ivan uses this to sneak into the war room Wolf has for keeping memorabilia, and finds the portrait hidden beneath a Nazi flag. He grabs it and runs. At home, he is visited by Elise, who invites him to go to a bar for some drinks, and to play pool. While there, she reveals to him that the night that the movie producer took her home, in her guilt and anger, 
she had stolen a necklace from his wife's vanity, and also left her underwear in her hamper for the wife to find. The necklace had been worth $250,000, and she had sold it by the time the producer called her, and told her to pay him back the money. He had paid her agents to leave her, and now she was trying to pay him back. Ivan asks her if she'll play the part of a house buyer in his next job, and she agrees. Back at Ivan's house the next day, Raymond tells him that a man has been surveying the house all day, and also gives him a gun so that he can protect himself. We then see Elise, who is playing poker and loses. She then steals some chips, and goes to the producer's house to pay him back some of the money she owes him. Next scene, Ivan has gone to meet Dimitri. He tells him about the FBI, and Dimitri panics. He holds a gun to Ivan and asks him what he knows. Ivan swears he doesn't know anything, and that the Hitler portrait is his safety insurance. Dimitri gives him the information for the next target, and Ivan leaves. Ivan then goes to talk to the detective following him, and he tells Ivan that he is just observing him. He knows about all his jobs and offers him a deal. He wants to catch the bigger fish, and wants Ivan's help to catch Dimitri. We then see Ivan and Elise going to see a house. As Elise talks to the house agent, Ivan wanders off to look for a sculpture. He returns, and he and Elise get back to their car. She asks him if he found what he was looking for, but he tells her no. When they get back to his house, she asks him about the painting from the party that they attended. Ivan decides to confide in her, and also tells her how Dimitri is after him. She offers her help, but he rejects it. Elise gets out and begins to walk away in anger, but he goes after her. He tells her that he does need her, and she agrees and tells him, that she will also need a cut. They then go to his room and spend the night together. The next morning, Elise meets Raymond, and after Raymond leaves to go to a bar and gamble, Ivan tells her that his brother struggles with substance abuse and bipolar disorder. He tries to get her to back out from helping him, but she says she's not going anywhere. Later, one of Dimitri's men breaks into Ivan's apartment to look for the painting, and upon not finding it, steals his safe. Raymond returns home, and calls Ivan to tell him about the robbery. Ivan meets up with the detective, and tells him about his plan. Meanwhile, Dimitri's henchman opens Ivan's safe and finds nothing inside. The other part of the plan involves Elise running into Dimitri at a bar. They get to talking over a bottle of red wine, and she asks him what he does. He tells her that he is an art consultant, and she tells him that she is an actress, here to meet up with a producer. Dimitri excuses himself to the restroom to collect himself, and returns to find Elise disappointed at the producer standing her up. She invites him to come with her and he agrees. Her limousine is driven by Raymond, and they take Dimitri to a house on Laguna Beach. The film then jumps back to 96 minutes earlier in the film. Ivan breaks into Dimitri's house, and kills both of his henchmen. He then uses one of the men's phones to send Dimitri a text. Back at Laguna Beach, Raymond pours Dimitri a glass of wine, as he and Elise settle in. Meanwhile, Ivan meets up with the detective, and tells him that Dimitri believes that Ivan is dead, and that he can arrest Dimitri in the morning. Dimitri asks Elise why she brought him there, and she asks him to guess. He says that she has daddy issues, and continues to point a gun at her. He tells her that he knows she is lying, and asks Raymond to step close to him. He makes Raymond smell his neck, and when he does, he hits him, saying that he is a loser just like his father was. While he beats up Ray, Elise tries to hit Dimitri, but makes a poor job out of it. Dimitri makes her kneel and strip. And then makes Elise sit on his lap, and tells her that he got a text, telling him that Ivan is dead. But Ivan suddenly turns up at the house. He points a gun at Dimitri, and Dimitri says that he knows what Ivan is planning. He plans to leave him here, and frame him for stealing artwork. Dimitri takes a sip of his wine, and then brings out a gun to point at Elise. This pisses Ivan off, but Raymond and Elise tell him to wait. He then begins to stall and distract Dimitri, until the man starts foaming at the mouth. We find out that Ray had spiked his drink earlier. Dimitri falls dead, and it is finally over. The next morning Ivan calls the FBI agent, and tells him where they'll find Dimitri, who died from a cocaine overdose. He also blackmails him for his own protection. The FBI finds Dimitri dead, and recovers a lot of artwork from his house as well. Ivan goes to see the movie producer, and pays him the money Elise owed him. In the last scene, we see the gang at a party. Elise sets the fire alarm in motion, as Raymond poses as a waiter. Ivan watches all of this, sitting in front of the painting they're here to steal, as the host ushers everyone out because of the fire alarm. Ivan says in voiceover, that Willie Sutton said, that he stole because he liked it, and the money was just an extra bonus. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.